convent. Okay. No. From high school. No. Vic's first band. There's a picture right there. Yeah. He played there. There we are. Allman Brothers right there. Would you play every week? Yeah. We played every weekend. When I was 16. My other horn player killed himself. We were young. He shot himself right after that. Never forgave himself for not being able to play in tune, I think. It's a lot more of a real southern literary perspective. You know, maybe not that different than what the Sex Pistols were documenting London in the mid-70s, you know, and how it felt to be unemployed. And sort of at a loss for a, at a loss for a life and having to make your own life in a different way. I think a lot of people will, will identify with him and, and see, you know, see a more human side of music. I am a rough ball of twine. I have a duty to do. Frazzled and aloof, Okay, so my granddaddy wrote this song. And he told me in the 70s when I was a kid that it had good words for the 50s. <laughs> no, it's not a showbiz thing. It's not a glamorous thing. You know, it's, it's, it's you know, somebody who sits in a chair and plays music. And this past year with the Sweet Relief, record and concert that happened was, uh, it was great. I mean, that was a real special night. Sweet Relief is an organization that uh, benefits musicians who don't have health insurance. And we found out that the songs were all cover versions of Vic Chestnut. We were delighted because we're big, big fans of his, of his records. I've been writing good songs lately which I was worried about. I thought, oh no, I'm gonna sign to Capitol and I'm never gonna be able to write a good song again. And uh, they're gonna hate me and they're gonna, you know, drop a big load of records on top of my head and squish me to death or something. I think it's great now that he's going to have a platform erected you know, by a major label for him to be able to broadcast his work from. I think some of the best songs I've ever recorded are on this record. So now I've got 10 year old songs up to, you know, songs that were actually, I, I finished one verse in the studio of one song. So they're, I kind of run the gamut. You know, the record is uh, real well rounded. It shows a lot of sides of, of what Vic has done and what he may be, you know, where he's headed. It's really cool. Of your cutie 